Wild horses in Florida sounds like a kind of a strange thing, but the wild horses have come to Florida from the Bureau of Land Management from the Western States. I've been involved with the American Mustang for 25 years. I've seen a lot of wild horses being abused and mishandled. So I started mentoring and trying to help people with it. My name is Luisa Jaronsson. Uh, I'm here as a volunteer coordinator. Uh, I did not know what to expect when I first came, but just being here for a week, I felt that there was so much to learn. I love the way Diane was working with the horses, and I just love the feeling that uh, you're not forcing anything on the horses. You can actually have the horses cooperate with you without forcing them to do anything. As a volunteer, you get to be a part of the daily work at the center, uh, which could be just taking care of the horses, grooming, um, medical treatment of some horses, also cleaning stalls, filling up waters, just the usual stuff for horse care. It's not going to be one day that is similar to another day. It's always going to be different because you get to be part of the work of the center and all the horses are different. So everything's going to change from one horse to another, what they need and what needs to be done. We also try to have the volunteers uh, see different parts of Florida and see how the wildlife and nature is here. So we take out people for airboat rides, go out boating, kayaking, and do a bunch of different stuff just so you get to see how Florida's environment can be like. <laughs>